welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I have such a fun day planned for us. We have all my food throughout the day. We have a fabulous dinner recipe, a little bit of diesel and Lola, and just a whole lot of fun. So if you wanna see What I Eat in a Day on the WW program to lose weight, stay tuned. What's your sister doing? Is he in bed? Say, I was out with my mom. We watered the plants. Let's go check on her. Come on. Let's go check on her. Oh, I see you. Hi, baby. Oh, someone dug out my side. Are you cozy? Oh, Bubba, can you even believe it? Can you even believe it? Here's breakfast for today. I decided I was feeling some peanut butter. So what I did is one half a cup of my good culture, full fat cottage cheese for three smart points. I also have two eggs here and I just cooked those with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray in a pan with some of the Trader Joe's onion salt and then peanut butter. Sounded good today. So what I have is one of these Ezekiel English muffins. These are found in the natural or healthy portion of your grocery store in the freezer section. They are frozen because any type of sprouted bread doesn't have any preservatives. So it has to remain frozen. So keep yours in the freezer. So I have one of those. And then I have one tablespoon of this organic creamy peanut butter salted from Trader Joe's. And what I did is just weighed that out on my food scale. This is my new food scale. I bought this on Amazon. This is the Red Rock. I love it. It's so cute with the wood. So I'll link this down below for you guys as well. I just bought it. I think it was $20 or so, and I love it. So breakfast is going to be four for the English muffin. Three for the peanut butter makes seven. Three for the, the cottage cheese makes 10. So this is 10 smart points. And then I'll put the calories here on the screen for you guys. And I am, again, more concerned about calories. So I'm going to make sure that I fall within my caloric goal for today. And then, of course, I'll double track points as well. So 10 smart points for breakfast. All right, guys, my Thrive order is in. I have some new finds. Thrive had some fun new products on their website, so I had to pick them up. Plus, I restocked a few of my staples. If you don't know what the Thrive Market is, it's an online market. They have everything from food to pet supplies, household, personal care, you name it, they have it. Nice, clean, whole food, whole ingredients, clean beauty, really a fantastic website. I order from them generally every two weeks or so to restock some staples, and it's always fun to see what they have new on their website. Down in the description box is a link for $20 worth of free products when you join the Thrive Market. You get to pick anything you want for that $20. Free shipping, amazing prices, about 30% less than your traditional grocery store. So highly recommend. I do show a lot of Thrive products in my uh, videos and in my recipes. So it'd be great if you were a member of the Thrive Market as well. So let's jump into my haul. This has quickly become literally my favorite granola. This is the Purely Elizabeth Chocolate Sea Salt Granola. I love this. You guys saw me haul this from Target. It was actually a dollar less per bag on Thrive than at Target. And I today used the last of it. So I love it. It is worth the points to me. It has fantastic ingredients. I mean, literal perfect ingredients for granola. Love it so much. So I went ahead and picked that up. Restocked my coconut sugar because I was about out. I've been using this a lot in baking. It's a one-to-one -one replacement for regular sugar. This is a paleo sweetener. It's very good for you. It does not really taste like coconut at all. It just gives you that sweet vibe like regular sugar does. So I had to restock that. This is something that I've actually seen in the grocery stores, but I decided to pick it up off of Thrive. This is the Enjoy Life Soft Baked Mini Cookies in Chocolate Chip. I'm excited for these. One pouch is 120 calories. 
These also have excellent ingredients. Any Enjoy Life product is really, really good and clean, so I grabbed those. You guys know I love my Siete chips, and I can't find very many flavors in my stores, so I found the Dairy-Free Nacho and the Ranch on the Thrive Market, and these were a dollar less per bag than my local store, so I'm excited to try both of these flavors. They have perfect, absolutely perfect ingredients. It's not flavored with any weird cheeses. It's all natural. So I am so excited to try both of these and they are cooked in olive oil, which is of course best in class. I needed some more spicy brown mustard for my salad dressing. You guys know I love that balsamic salad dressing. So I grabbed the Primal Kitchen Organic Spicy Brown Mustard. Wanted to try this milk. I remember trying this years ago and liking it a lot. And so I picked it up since I was ordering from Thrive. This is the Milkadamia Macadamia Nut Milk Unsweetened. It's 50 calories for a cup, I believe. So I think it's one or two points. Of course, all the points are here on the screen. It has excellent, excellent ingredients and no natural flavors because it's unsweetened, which is always a win. Remember I told you guys that I should have made sure this didn't have propellants before I bought it last time? Well, we really like this ghee spray. I love to cook my eggs in this because it gives them a nice buttery taste. So I decided to repurchase. I know, live a little. And then I picked up this jam because all I have is that huckleberry jam. This is the organic wild blueberry fruit spread. It is sweetened with apple juice. So again, it has really, really good ingredients. Not bad in the smart points. I like to put this on a rice cake with peanut butter. I use a lot of jam in baking. I like it on my pancakes, my waffles. So I picked that up. This is a new thing for me. I saw these, these are the Love Beets. These are organic, non-GMO, fully cooked beets. So I thought, how easy would these be to chop up and throw these on a salad? Beets are kind of rough to cook just right unless you roast them. And these looked so good and they were super, super affordable. So I picked those up. Of course, I restocked my taco seasoning. You guys know I love the Thrive Market taco seasoning. It has really, really good ingredients. It tastes really, really good. I don't buy any other taco seasoning other than Thrive due to the ingredients. So four packets of that. We do use a lot of taco seasoning in this house. They had a killer deal on their Enjoy Life chocolate chips. I got all three of these bags for $10 and some change when normally I pay $5.99 per bag at the grocery store. I love the little minis. These are the semi-sweet mini chips. And these mega chunks are really fun to add to oatmeal, smoothie bowls, acai bowls. It's about three smart points per serving, which is a tablespoon, but the ingredients in these are so incredibly good. There's literally like four ingredients. They're non-GMO, they're allergy friendly, delicious. I love these chocolate chips so much and they are all natural, which is a huge win. I've also been seeing this a lot on Instagram. A couple of you posted this in my Facebook group. This is the all ingredients from farmers we know sprouted rolled oats. So not only are these rolled oats, these are sprouted rolled oats, which is one step better than organic oats. Always buy your oats organic because they are heavily sprayed with, sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So make sure you pick those up organic. So I've heard nothing but good things about these and I can't find these locally. I've heard you can find them at a Costco or Sam's Club. I can't find them. So I picked them up off Thrive. I cannot wait. And then I restocked my tomato sauce. They, you do have to buy two when you pick these up. This is just the Thrive brand of the organic tomato sauce. I'm always using this in recipes. And the last, I bought some protein shakes. So all of their Aloha products were on sale. I did feature the Aloha uh, protein bars. In my protein bar video, they have fantastic ingredients. These are plant-based protein drinks. They have 18 grams of protein, five grams of sugar, and no artificial ingredients, which is amazing. They have MCT oil, no stevia, prebiotics, and electrolytes. So let me show you guys the back here. I don't know the points. I'll put them on the screen, but I'm excited to have these is in addition to coffee or to use as the base of a shake. You could use the protein shake and some ice and some fruit and blend that up and have a really good delicious protein shake. So I have the chocolate sea salt, 
and I have the coconut. So these are on sale for $10 for a four pack. So that is everything that I picked up from this Thrive order. Definitely check out the link down below so you can get $20 off your first order from Thrive. So I thought we'd come outside really quick and I'll show you the completed patio. If you remember last week, I showed you guys the fish that we bought off of eBay, the metal fish. They're just so beautiful. Look at them just shine in the sun. We love them. What I was looking for was something for the center of my table and I found this at Home Goods. So this is a log, but it's made out of ceramic or some type of resin. It's very, very heavy, which is what we wanted for outside in case it got windy. And then it has this fake kind of tall grass in it and it just blends really well with the whole kind of outdoor vibe of our patio. And then over here, if you guys remember, I had a white stand. I found this little stand at Home Goods, but this is funny. So if you pull my plant off of the stand, it's actually a kid's stool <laughs> with a unicorn. So funny. But the wood was exactly what I wanted. So my pot luckily does cover up the beautiful little pink unicorn. So that is the stand I got for the patio. And you can't even see it. So again, it just completed the look out here. We love it. We are, have already eaten dinner out here. It's so cute and it's so peaceful. And what we love too is when we're sitting out here and you look out this way, nobody can see us. That's actually right that right there is my neighbor's garage. So nobody can see us, which is amazing. So we can sit out here. It's private. We always joke about how we can come out here naked and nobody would ever know. It's lunch time. It is after 12. I have not eaten since breakfast. That breakfast held me over. That's kind of been my my MO lately is I don't have a morning snack. So I have a huge salad for breakfast. So on the bottom, I have baby spinach, about two cups of baby spinach. I have one tablespoon, as always, of the raw sunflower seeds from Trader Joe's. My chicken is the cauliflower, as always. New chick on the block, but this is the spicy-ish spicy tenders. Now, I really like this one on salads because... It is a little bit spicy, but it adds just a really, really good flavor to your salad. I don't like them on their own. So they are something I only like to put on my salad. You can see here that I have about a quarter of a cup or what was left here of this good cultured cottage cheese. I thought that that would be a good pairing with the spicy of the chicken. So that's something I've never done. I've seen people put cottage cheese on salads before, but... I'm excited for it actually. And then I also have down there one ounce of the Trader Joe's organic feta, the one that I always show, and my dressing, which is balsamic vinegar, avocado oil, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. That recipe's on my website. So yeah, that's my salad for today. I air fried my nuggets or my new chick on the block in my Copper Chef air fryer. I've shown this a lot, but I get a lot of questions about it. It's the perfect size for one or two people. I will use this one even more often than my oven style just because it's so convenient to just throw a few things in there. So this is actually three of the new chick on the block. So my salad is three points for the chicken, three points for the feta makes six, one point for the sunflower seeds makes seven, two points for the cottage cheese makes nine, and then one point for my dressing makes 10. So my salad is 10 smart points. Oh, and I'm gonna have a couple of plums from my Imperfect Foods box. I almost forgot. So I'm gonna have a couple of plums as well. That'll be kind of something sweet after I have my chicken spicy-ish salad. Is it treat time? Oh, oh, I dropped it. Oh, Lola got it. All right, there's yours, buddy. Good job, guys. Three o'clock. I need a protein shake. So I'm gonna be making kind of a tropical vibe to protein shake. So I'm going to be using the Live Well Plant Protein. This is the coconut. It's so good. You guys have heard me talk about Live Well so many times. It's a plant-based protein, but it doesn't taste like plant-based protein. A lot of time it has a really chalky, kind of weird texture and taste. This one does not. It is so incredibly good. It has 17 grams of complete protein, only three grams of natural sugar. It is organic, which is absolutely phenomenal. And your ingredients, you guys, couldn't be any cleaner. Like the, this is the cleanest protein powder I have ever found. And it is one smart point for a scoop. So there are so many great things going for Live Well. It's super affordable as well. So I will link down below in the description box a link for 10% off that Live Well gave me to share with you guys. 
I love it. I pretty much have this every single day. I used it in my meal prep this week. I mean, it is fabulous protein powder. So I'm gonna do one scoop of that for 17 grams of protein and one point, one cup of the Great Value Almond Milk, one frozen banana. And it's going to be kind of like a coconut banana shake. arrived on my doorstep my next imperfect produce box you guys know I love this company they are groceries on a mission so basically what they do is they take all the produce that the stores don't want to sell and you can buy it at ridiculously reduced prices it's perfectly good it's amazing everything I bought here is organic so I'm gonna pull all this out and show you guys what I picked up for this week from imperfect foods and I'll link them down below with a discount for you guys as well all right so first I grabbed some organic green beans I thought that we could roast these up or barbecue these up and they would be delicious for a dinner and then they even have non like producey things they have meat and all sorts of products so I saw this Mayoko's cultured vegan butter made from plants so this is kind of like my plant-based butter melt that I love so I wanted to give it a try it pretty much has the same nutritional value in everything as melt so I can't wait it is organic so that's going to be a nice little change of pace from my melt and then I grabbed some cucumbers, some gorgeous, these are gorgeous organic cucumbers. I believe that I have two, yes, two cucumbers. And then also I grabbed some bacon because this was a killer price from Imperfect Foods. This is the Coleman Natural Uncured No Sugar Added Bacon. I wanna say this was $4.99, which is a really good deal. This type of bacon is generally a lot more expensive. And just so you guys know, everything's cold as can be, and this is a huge ice pack that's still frozen solid underneath. And then I got this gorgeous organic mango because mangoes are life and then lemons because I love having lemons in my water and I thought that it would be nice to have a couple really pretty organic lemons to add to my fruit bowl also a mini watermelon because I never buy these because they're so expensive that I never want to invest in the mini ones but they were so affordable in this box that I decided to go ahead and pick one of those up Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff, you guys. I got four limes. These are organic limes. I like to put lime in my water as well as lemon. And these organic ones, I've been buying that just because the whole lime sits in my water all day or the whole lemon. And I don't know if the pesticides come off of the, the rind into my water. So I've been trying to buy those organic. I have a gorgeous zucchini. So excited for that. And then I grabbed a couple of yellow onions. These are... Man, these are really nice, great quality for imperfect food. So these are some just organic yellow onions. And then a beet, or a beet. I grabbed an organic beet. I'm gonna chop this up and roast this with some vegetables. I love roasted beets. And then, oh, this is the thing I'm most excited about. So you guys know I love my forager milk. This is the Forager Dairy-Free Half and Half. What? Cashew milk and coconut cream. And look at this, you guys. Two tablespoons, 20 calories. It has fantastic ingredients. It does have natural flavor. That is the one thing that I don't love about it, but it's creamy plant-based half and half alternative. I will report back on this. I've actually never seen this in my stores, and it was a great price there as well. And then I have a little baggie here. Six absolutely beautiful plums, organic plums. So that was my imperfect produce box for this week. Again, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. I think this box was right around $40, and you guys, I have a bacon, butter and half and half so hello plus all the produce i'm loving it i'll be showing this to you guys every time i order but check out imperfect foods i think you're really going to like their prices and how fast it comes to your doorstep i got this within two days of ordering you know what time it is time to pick the winner of the three pack of the yvette sportswear tank tops i'm so excited to give these away so you can see here that i've entered the url of last week's what i eat in a day I'm gonna go ahead and hit get YouTube comments. You can see the filter duplicate users box is checked. That is because we don't want somebody who commented twice to get two entries. So it'll eliminate the second comment. So we have 177 commenters. So guess what guys? One in 177 chance of winning. So to do the drawing, we're gonna hit start. 
It's going to randomly pick a winner of the three pack of tank tops. Congratulations to Shanda Mayberry. Shanda, my friend, you just won the three pack of tank tops. All you have to do to claim your prize is message me to my email, which is in the description box, which is within 72 hours of seeing this video. So basically by end of day Friday, with your address and I'll get these sent out to you. If Shanna does not respond by the end of business on Friday, I will draw a, another winner and reach out to that person. But congrats Shanda. For dinner tonight, I'm making easy ground beef casserole. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be kind of a spin on goulash. So it should be really good. We're gonna pair this with some steamed broccoli and that's gonna be dinner. So let me show you what's in our recipe. So you're going to need some milk. I'm gonna be using 1% milk flour, 93.7 ground beef. I have this grass fed from Walmart. You'll need pasta. So of course I'm going to use my fiber gourmet. You guys know how I feel about this. If you didn't know they did reformulate, which was a great move for us because it lowered it to hundred calories for two ounces dry, which is only two smart points. Now traditional pasta for two ounces dry is five to six smart points. So this is two, you guys, an entire serving of pasta, hundred calories, two points. You you also get 25 grams of fiber versus two grams, 17 net carbs versus 41, and seven grams of protein per two ounces. And this pasta tastes better than regular pasta. I'm, it's amazing. We really don't buy any other pasta. This is it. So if you're interested in fiber gourmet, I will link nutrition down below, which is where you can buy the pasta. It's amazing. You guys have to check it out. And for two points, you can't go wrong at all. And then some butter. So I have my milk plant-based butter. You'll need mozzarella cheese and then some sort of a three cheese blend. I'm going to be using minced onion in place of fresh onion. You could do either one. Veg all veggies. I've never used these. I've never seen these. So this is the first time. And then salt and pepper. So let's start dinner. The first thing we're going to do is bring a pot of water to a boil so that we can throw in our fiber gourmet pasta. And I also have another pan going here where I added my ground beef. We're going to start this browning and we'll add in the minced onion. We're gonna go ahead and add in our minced onion. So if you are using fresh onion, you can add it at the same time that you add the ground beef. And then we're gonna let this cook until everything is browned through. While the pasta is cooking and the meat is browning, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. So in a bowl, we're gonna add one cup of the low fat milk. We're also going to add three tablespoons of melted butter and one quarter cup of flour. And then we're just going to whisk this together until it's fully combined. And this is the sauce mixture for our casserole. Our meat mixture is done. So to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our drained can of the veg all. So apparently this is corn, lima beans, peas, green beans and potatoes, which again, I've never used this before. And then as soon as our pasta is done, we're gonna add that as well. All right, we're ready to add in the drained pasta. And then we're gonna stir this thoroughly to combine together. So I went ahead and added half of a cup of the Trader Joe's light shredded cheese. We're also going to add in our sauce mixture that we made and some salt and pepper. We're going to get this combined and then this whole mix is going to go into a nine by 13 baking dish. I currently have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my baking dish. The recipe does not say that, but I just wanna make sure nothing sticks. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef noodle veggie mixture, and we're gonna top it with another half of a cup of the shredded mozzarella. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some onion salt to the top. This is me modifying the recipe. I just wanna make sure that it has enough flavor since all we added was salt and pepper. This way it gives it that little extra burst of flavor. And then again, lastly, we're gonna put on half of a cup of mozzarella. All right, it's out of the oven. I just cut it into eight servings. I let it rest for about five minutes or so. So you get one huge serving for the smart points. So I have my broccoli in the microwave. I'm gonna plate it up 
and I'll be back to give you the smart points. All right, so here is dinner. This is one eighth of the casserole, so it's quite a large serving. I just paired it with some broccoli with some salt and pepper, so my broccoli is zero points. You can have one eighth of the casserole for six smart points, and that is on all plans using the fiber gourmet pasta. If you use a different pasta, you'll have to recalculate your points, but my dinner is six smart points. All right, guys, here's dessert. I'm gonna do my Clio bar in vanilla. For six smart points, 140 calories, I'm obsessed. I pretty much have to have one of these almost every day. Oh Lord, I'm obsessed, but they're really, really delicious. So it's a Greek yogurt bar, it's a great dessert, it's a great snack. It actually even has uh, eight grams of protein. So this is my dessert and this is the final thing I'll be eating today. Thank you so much for joining me on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope that you had some really fantastic food inspiration and you definitely need to check out tonight's dinner. It was so easy, simple, and incredible. The recipe is on my website. My website is linked down below in the description box. So definitely check that out for all of my recipes. Also in the description box, you'll find the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of that community over there. It is such a wonderful, supported place to be. So head on over and join us. You're also going to find discount codes and links to my favorite things, all the things that I love that I can save you a little bit of money on, which is always a win. So definitely check out that description box down below. If you're new, I'd love for you to join my YouTube community and just hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. That way you're not missing a single fun video. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love these what I eat in a days. And of course, again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all tomorrow in my next video. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams.